Hello guys, Sherry here. So in this quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to change the pivot point of the object in Unity. So I'm gonna create a new cube. I'm gonna scale it on 10 on Z axis. So as you could see, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Uh, as you could see, the pivot point is in the middle, in the center of the object, right? And if you want to shift it, for example, here, then what you have to do with creating empty object and making a, a cube uh, a child of this uh, game object which is like new pivot right or some object and uh, as you could see like not much changed because uh, we have to shift the cube now to the side so I know because it's half of 10 is 5 so I know it's like right in the center as you could see which is also cen center of this new pivot because it's on 0 0 0 on position right uh, also I lift the cube a little bit so we could put on 0 and, and you see so now when I go pivot so I have changed pivot to to that point this method uh, it's you have to have like these two uh, two uh, two objects right one is that new pivot which is like ob let's say object object one and that uh, object is like a model right so for example on this one you got the mesh renderer and that object is empty but if you want you could uh, remove a component uh, the box collider on the model and if you want to keep the box collider but for some reason you want on the object you could set up but as you could see it's not adjusting to the model because there is like no mesh so you need to don't know where to apply this uh, box collider and you have to adjust it like manually oh sorry 10 so 10 and they will be 5, yeah, 5 and 10. So yeah, so you see, and the collider is same and is rotating. Collider is following as well, so it works. So now I'm gonna show you the second method, which we're gonna use a free asset. Okay, so this is gonna be a second method. As you could see, we got the same object. The pivot point is in the center. Uh, so we're gonna use the asset called adjust pivot uh, so you have to go to asset store find the asset download it and then go to package manager uh, find it here like pivot just put pivot in the search it's gonna find you in packages my assets of course you have to find it adjust pivot it's called yeah import it and then import it i already did it so that's why that's fine and it's here in plugins and adjust pivot but you don't have to use it anything here in the project so once you it's imported to your project just select the model which which you have to want to change the pivot point and then uh, click window adjust pivot it's gonna pop up new window here as you could see uh, to, so to change the pivot you have to create empty object which is and put that object underneath the model so now you could freely why freely move that point don't worry if you do opposite way like you put model on the game object so now when you move game object you're gonna move the the other model as well so you're gonna know it's something wrong <laughs> so it's like nice to remember just to put underneath basically make a child of the model you want to uh, change right so this this is gonna be like new pivot you don't have to changing a name i'm just for uh, changing for the tutorial pur purposes yeah so now you you basically putting the uh, um, that pivot wherever you want for example i want it here right and once the pivot is selected you just click move models pivot here 
and uh, once you did it you could delete new pivot so you, you see we just got the model which is which where which got that pivot point uh, where where we specified right which is good because you don't have to have like two objects here like a previous method right so that's why i very like this asset because it's basically one object and the pivot point is where i want yeah also what you have to do just save your model mesh and as asset and then make a folder like meshes and just save right and that's it because basically i think this program is making new mesh with the with new pivot point on it so yeah so basically that's it of course you could see something or read some documentation about this yeah and basically that's it so hopefully you like the tips just leave me some likes so i will be more motivated because i got some problem with that <laughs> last time uh, that's why i just decided to record some of these short ones uh, because it, i think it's better for me so thank you very much uh, and see you in the next tip